Well, Kasatu is going to announce its new leadership today as the Federation wraps up its three-day conference. And it doesn't look like it's going to be very different uh, for the top position. Let's head over to Slendelo Masakane, ENCA reporter, who's been following this uh, for the past few days. And Zengiswa Lossi uh, is probably topped as the favorite uh, with the leadership announcement coming out later today. What else are we expecting? Morning, Gareth. We're not um, expecting any major upsets. In fact, the only position that's being contested is that of the Deputy General Secretary. Uh, those who've been nominated um, uncontested would be the President, that is Zingis Walosi, the first Deputy President, Mike Shingange. Uh, the second de uh, Deputy President, who's with me right now, um, is uh, uh, one who's incoming, um, as well as uh, the Treasurer, Freda Ostazen, uh, the General Secretary, also Soli Petra, um, uncontested. So let's bring in our guest, that is Duncan. Uh, congratulations on your nomination and of course you're set to uh, take up that position of second deputy president. Let's talk about the developments within the Congress. A very dramatic couple of days beginning with public sector wage, uh, public sector unions rather rejecting the ANC um, and not wanting to hear from them. Thank you, Slindy. Maybe, maybe to put it in perspective, it, it must be corrected. It is not uh, the public sector unions. It is the COSAT who are in this together here, who are rejecting, who actually was saying to the ANC, if they are giving us a middle finger, we should emanate from the fact that we had an agreement as COSATU under the public unions that was supposed to be, uh, uh, to be implemented in a period of three years. Our, our ANC, our government, goes to court. When they go to court, they are rejecting, they are saying that they cannot pay. They are not even saying that maybe let's pay you bit by bit or maybe let's have this particular fashion of paying. They are saying outrightly rejecting, taking us as COSATU because public sector unions is COSATU. We are with public sector unions in this particular matter. We are saying that it is unfortunate that in this democratic dispensation, our government will take us to cause the very same courts which are not revolutionary. Those courts are not revolutionary because I don't want to dwell issues of politics and the past, but we must revisit yeah. and check those courts. Because some people that are residing on those courts, they come from the era that we want to forget about. Okay. Let's talk about the reaction then from the ANC, Gwede Mantashe, labeling uh, delegates here who barred him from speaking as immature. Well, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate just for the mere fact that Gwede thinks, the minister Gwede Mantashe thinks one of our own, he comes from our ranks. He thinks he and I can come willy-nilly and just speak with us like we're stepchildren or like we're, we're, we're labor desk. It cannot be. Basically, we're rejecting a notion that people just because they think they come from COSAT or they come from other affiliates in COSAT, they'll come and speak as they want. Kwete Mantashi was here to represent the African National Congress, which is our organization. But however, we're going to be treated as workers like a labor desk of the African National Congress. This thing has nothing to do with personal attachment or where someone comes from. Kwete must know. Yes, indeed, we come from ourselves. Actually, we should be saying that we're not, we're not, we're not even priding ourselves by him saying that we are immature. We cannot say that. We come from our ranks. He must respect us. We are saying that where you are representing the African National Congress, which is our organization. There is nothing wrong of us to say our ANC, ourselves as workers, we are not happy. We are actually pooing, rejecting with the content that we deserve, the notion, the posture. Of the, of, of the ANC. It's not grandstanding. It must not be misinterpreted. Yeah. We need to be very cautious. We're very clear. Okay. So what does this mean for then the future of the alliance? Uh, speaking to your spokesperson yesterday, he indicated that there needs to be a meeting um, of the alliance partners to see whether in fact this alliance is still relevant. Actually, the alliance is still relevant. But unfortunately, if you look ideologically, the African Congress, we strategically, it was put to lead the alliance as the uh, National Democratic, uh, the, our NTR basically, it is led by them. Because basically, first and foremost, before we reach our ultimate goal of socialism, we must go through uniting the society itself. It's a, it's a contested terrain. By virtue of that, what is happening, we're having tax in the, in, in the ANC. Over and above that, it, as a contested terrain, we're having two factions in the ANC whom both they are anti-workers, they are Porsche, they are uniting against, our, against the workers. So by virtue of saying that, we must be openly telling them and rejecting whoever is not is anti-worker. 
the African National Congress, yes, there are bourgeoisies, there are criminals, there are looters, there are corruptors, and there is everything there. There are ourselves as a, as a, as a working class. There is a, the, the party is there. All of us who are there is a contested terrain. But however, what is important, the point of departure is that these meetings, what's higher of rhetorical, um, rhetorical flourish, we're not going to be talking nice English. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Now we want to go back to basics and say, what is our ultimate task collectively? If indeed this alliance is going to work, it must work for the people. Would Kosato back the SACP come 2024 if they uh, decide to contest elections? Now, as we're going back to a plenary, we're going to, to vote. We're going to vote because equally, there are those office democratically who have an obligation to observe the question that says when there are those saying no, maybe it's prematurely for us to beg or not to beg. Now, as we are reconvening the plan, we are going to talk about that particular issue. That, among other, you are left with only two issues that we are going to talk about. But first and foremost, we are going to talk about issues saying that are we supporting the ANC? But we must remember that the ANC, we are ANC. We are the SACP, we are Kosawa in alliance. But are we supporting these people? that are there, which whom some of them are, are pro-anti-working class. We must characterize... It wouldn't make sense though, right? Come again? It wouldn't make sense to support an ANC that is anti the worker, anti what Kosatu um, wants for the worker. There is this analogy of saying that the, 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 the forest kept on, on, on voting uh, for, for an ex, and if you look at the, the handle of the ex, because it is wood, it, it, it terms itself as is one of their own of the forest. It, it is that particular angle. We cannot keep on voting for an ex just because the handle is a wood, we are a forest. We must redefine and characterize where we are headed. If indeed we are going to beg to basis, we are not going to personal attachment and saying we want this one. Even if Cyril himself is, is, is anti worker, there is this newfound uh, arrogance from white municipal capital. We have even been told that we must not characterize a, a, a monopoly capital. Yes, indeed, the point of departure is that we must reject any, any monopoly. But we are seeing wise now. We are seeing wise. There is newfound arrogance that we are seeing here. And we are rejecting it. Why Why now in this epoch? Why now when Comrade Sri Ramaphosa has taken over, we are seeing this newfound arrogance? Mm. No, we can't stop. Yes, he founded one of the affiliates of Kosat. But even that doesn't necessarily mean that we have personal attachment here. Our immediate task is poverty. We are having people, poverty has a color. Mm. Ourselves as blacks. In the mines, people have been killed, black people. And it's been, well, we cannot. Yeah. Thank you. Enough is enough. Thank you so much. Thank you, Slindy. All right, I think that's what we have time for. Gareth, of course, uh, some strong sentiments there coming from the incoming uh, second uh, deputy president, that is Duncan Lovuno, um, telling us that, uh, in fact, one of the issues that's going to be concluded today is whether Kasatu will be supporting the ANC come 2024 or not. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting this uh, last day of the Congress. Uh, we'll come back to you again, Slindela Masakane, uh, a little bit later as the Kasatu Congress, the 14th Congress, wraps up a little bit later for today.